It's time for another delicious meal. Welcome, I'm Tripp. Today, it's going to be this Rosina Meatballs Angus Beef. All right. Let's do the fake Italian thing. There's a nothing more Italian than a meatballs, a pasta, and enjoying them with the family for more than 50 years. That's been at the heart of the Rosina brand, a family-owned company honoring an Italian family tradition to bring your family real Italian goodness. Not quite as good as the accent I did on the last one about the spaghetti. So, they're very hot right now. Extremely hot. So I probably should eat them first, shouldn't I? Oven-baked goodness. You get 18 of these in this package. And I wish I had I think it was like three and a half dollars, but I really can't remember. No, I can't remember. I can't remember. Take me home. Here's my little uh, decorations for the holidays. This is the last of the watermelon napkins. Let's dig in. Why the little fork? It's the one I usually use for desserts. But uh, if I got a regular sized fork and a knife, these just wouldn't last at all. I'd be eating them too fast because they are just delicious. So, thumbs up on taste. I put some kind of barbecue sauce over the top of these. Hmm. Here's the picture. Delicious. Which is dead. This has such deep, delicious taste to it. You don't need to put barbecue sauce on them. You know it's it's healthier just to have them just like they are. I love you just the way you are. No, I don't plan my songs bursting into tune, into song that way. They just come to my head all the time. Nearly every sentence I make, I can think of a song. And quite a few of them my band used to play. Back in the day. I just like to show you the inside of them too. I do that with all of my little videos. 
Here's what the inside looks like. You know, I mean, it's a meat the ball, you know. Kind of like a meatball. I hope people just don't watch the videos just for the eating. I like to know about something, about a food. I want to know where the food came from. I want to know about the nutrition, the background. I like to know these things as opposed just to sitting down and, and slobbering through an eating video, eating as much as I can. It's not my style. It's not me. It ain't me, babe. No, 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 it ain't me, babe. This is the first time I'm doing a video in this room. First time in about two years. It has a couple of other of like meal ideas. The tailgate meatball sliders. I mean, just the name sounds delicious. And shelf life is like a long time. These have to be used or should be used by September of 2024, so they last a pretty good while. Okay, here we are. I think I should have had my little magnifying glass after all. Is it produced by Rosina Food Products in Buffalo, New York? Buffalo, New York, product of USA. We can still make some good things here. There's a phone number you can call for questions. I meant to do that. I meant to call and ask something about these just to see somebody answers and what they say. Here's the nutrition for you. Uh, for those who might be interested in that, Got a 30 ooh and three meatballs. That's what I'm having here. It's 39% saturated fat, 14% cholesterol, 23 sodium. Frankly, it's well, I mean you know it's not health food, right? Baking instructions, there's nothing to it, of course. Bake at 350 degrees, 30 to 35 minutes, or until hot. Or on the stove, or on the microwave. I like to read the packages. Thanks to our homemade recipe, Rosina Angus Beef Meatballs are great tasting and the perfect meal to serve and enjoy with friend, family and friends. Quality ingredients, no preservatives. Okay. That all sounds good. And here's the ingredients here. Too many to list and too tiny to read.
better to finish because they're getting, they're going to get a little, they won't be quite as hot. Seems like everybody reviews the fast foods, or most everybody. I don't see too many that are just reviewing foods like this. Fast food takes no effort at all. You just drive through the, go to the drive-in, drive through window, order something, take it home, set it up, and you eat it. A lot of people do that. I think these can be eaten. Got them at a little pumpkin patch place at a little um, roadside market. Two more bites. Let's make these two smaller bites. By the way, things like this, meatballs, they go really good with mashed potatoes in gravy. I think that's it. I think we're done here today. Thank you for watching the video. And we'll chat later.